Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhoffs here. I am going to paint and color this guy. So this is my image that I call La Jolla Shore Surfer. This was shot at La Jolla Shores in La Jolla, California. Actually two exposures, a long exposure which blurs out the waves and then a short exposure which uh, captured the surfer and his reflection. And so I overlaid these two. So the idea is to add in like an abstract-ish sky and maybe reflect that in the beach here. And I'm going to do that with my um, acrylics and using sponges and maybe a knife. We'll see. I'm gonna wing this. So let's get this done. <laughs> going to start by putting down some kind of base layer using a phthalo blue. I'm adding a lot of white to lighten up the color. And I would like to add some bird sienna to desaturate the blue. Actually, I want it still much lighter. I think this is too, also too saturated and too dark. So throw in some more titanium white and just go over it again. No 
normally when I color my images with like photo oils, I try to reduce the brush strokes. But here I don't care about that. I want this I want this to have a like a more abstract look. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the glazing liquid that I normally use to color my images to make glazes. I want to make it more transparent as I approach the, um, the horizon here on the bluffs. Adding in a little bit more of that burnt sienna. I thought it was still too saturated. Adding that glass glazing liquid to the opaque acrylic that I use for the sky and I'm going to use that down here so it's more transparent because of the, the glazing liquid. See if it's transparent enough. Yeah, this is good. So we can still see the structure of the beach. This is not reflecting, this is dry sand. So here I'll probably add some burnt sienna later as a, as a color. I mean as a glaze.
dry. It only took 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to add with a sponge some, some darker, like gray, around the edges on the top here, maybe even at the bottom, to give it more of a, like a vignette effect. So I'm taking a little bit of Mars Black. Start with a, just a tiny little bit of black. I don't want this to get too dark. lot more dark so we'll wipe this off just with some paper towel The idea behind this is, is because this is a photograph and I want to like simulate a little bit of a, of a vignette. I'll do it with paint. to be fast because it dries fast. You don't want it too much. Very edges, I do want a little more.
and then soften it again more inwards. What I'm looking for. So now let's clean this up a little bit. And now I'm taking a bit of iridescent bright gold. some of that in the back here. turning the sponge I don't want to look at like like there's too much repetition of the same type of pattern lighter in the back here. So again I'm taking out my glazing liquid. Make it a little lighter in the back here. And now I'll add a little bit more gold to it, to the mix. And then I'll put that down here on the wet sand. So it's like reflecting from the sky.
now I'm going to mix up with a little bit of red, creating an orange, like an iridescent orange. some more glazing liquid. And then take a finer sponge. to the bottom of that golden layer. I'm gonna mix a light aquamarine, so take a little bit of phthalo blue, this guy, a little bit of cadmium yellow. Take a little bit of yellow. Take my glazing liquid.
think it could use a little bit more yellow. Let's see. Take yet another sponge. I want to see how that turns out. Yeah, I want it pretty subtle. So basically I'm coloring the ocean now. But instead of using a, a brush, I'm doing it with a sponge to get some texture added. Clean up my palette again. I'm going to do the same thing with burnt sienna to color the bluffs and the, the beach on the right. later but this is good for on the edges here This actually might be a good color. I don't mind going on the ocean. 
portion here. Okay. I want a little bit I want a little bit more color in the corner. My last thing to do is to color the surfboard and let's do that with a golden glaze. Tense in the middle of the board. And here's the finished result in a white frame. The Hill Shore Surfer, black and white photo painted in with acrylics. So if you like this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more of my work please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.